With this workflow, you can digitize your handwritten notes so that you never have to worry about another scrap of paper being lost again because the system will automatically turn it into a Google Doc and put it into your Google Drive for you to be able to keep those notes forever. All right, let's go ahead and see how it works. So I have some handwritten notes here that I took the other day. And what I did is I just took a photo of it. I put it into a Google Drive folder. It was actually right here. Let's see, did it uh, end up moving the, the file? No, it didn't, but that's fine. All right, so what we did is we just ran it through the system here. It's gonna pull it from Google Drive. It's gonna run each image through Google Drive, uh, through this loop here. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to pull out all of the text it's got charts or graphs or pictures or anything. It's gonna to try to describe them as best as it possibly can in order to create a nice set of you know, typewritten uh, notes for you. Um, and let's go ahead and kind of just show you how it looks here. So we, just, we got a Google Drive trigger. I'm, uh, I'm just searching through a folder. In this case, I have a images for test folder that I put an image into. You can see here's the picture. There's my handwritten note, all right. And what we're doing is we're just checking for file created. It's gonna run anytime you put something in here. It's gonna run it through a loop. First thing we're gonna do in this loop, is we're gonna just set this with an edit fields node here. We're just gonna set the ID of the Google Drive file. So if we come down here, do do. All right, so what we're doing is, well, for some reason it's not pulling it, but it's pulling it from the Google Drive on, this, on the download, all right? So it's finding it, it's grabbing the ID, and then we're gonna run it through this Google Drive node in order to download it. So you just set up your Google Drive connection or credentials. If you don't yet have your Google Drive credentials, there's gonna be a link in the description below on how to set up Google Cloud Console so that you can do that. Either way, we have a resource as file, operation as download. We're pulling that ID. Um, and the reason I guess I should explain why I'm setting it here, this edit fields node, is so that instead of having to reach out before the loop, I have all my information that I'm gonna need in the loop right here at the beginning, so I don't have to worry about you know anything breaking it. I, I'm just gonna be reaching right here every single time. And it's always gonna grab the right image. All right, either way, it's gonna download it. You see it's downloaded here. We're gonna run that image through this resize node. So it's just an edit image node, operations resize, property name is data, because that's what we're pulling right there. We have a width of 50% and a height of 50%, and my, my option is set to percent. You can set it to uh, maximum area if you want. I like setting it to percent. Uh, so we have this 3.02 megabyte picture, ends up becoming a 270 kilobyte picture, much more manageable, much fewer tokens for our AI agent to have to read. So then we run it through this transcribe to markdown agent chain here. All right, so it's simple, simple prompt, just transcribe the document to markdown. And then we have the system prompt here. You're an expert, expert document transcription agent specializing in converting images to markdown with maximum accuracy and detail. And we just say how to do it. So check all visible printed and handwritten notes, headings, subheadings, titles, small print, footnotes, watermarks, annotations, any text it can possibly find, checks any tables it can possibly find, any charts and graphs, any images, diagrams, flowcharts, and infographics, anything else that might possibly be on the page, just miscellaneous. Transcribe it all to Markdown, and then flag anything that's unclear or partially visible with unclear. And then we tell it what not to do. Do not paraphrase or summarize. It needs to transcribe it exactly as it is there. No omitting any fine print or footnotes or annotations or anything like that. No ignoring any handwritten notes or embedded images and no skipping any non-text visuals. It needs to describe everything that it can possibly see on this photo, all right? It's gonna run it through. We're gonna then have another edit field node here that we're just gonna set the text just here. We're just gonna set it here, call it text, just to make sure that it's here. That way I don't have to worry about you know linking to the transcribed markdown. I'm just gonna have this little edit field node here. We then run it through one more AI agent this AI agent is going to take that input text, so document text, so there it is, just json.txt, and you can always just grab it and bring it over here if you wanted. All right, and we're gonna run it through this system prompt. The system prompt, all it does is it's gonna name the file, and it's gonna name the file with today's date, or the date, I should say, that the document was created in the Google Drive trigger. So when the, the file was created in Google Drive, that's gonna be the date, all right? And that date is then going to be added uh, to some text summary title. So this is what the AI is gonna do. It's gonna read all the text and it's gonna go, okay, this document is about. And so then it's gonna give us our timestamp and then the name of the, the thing that it thinks would be a good name for this. So, you know, 
uh, RIA notes or Real Estate Investment Association notes or plans for Jeff or notes on new AI project or something. It's just going to come up with a title for it. That's then going to be passed. I guess we have one more edit field node. We're going to set the file name as well right there. And then we have a uh, Google Docs node here. So again, click the link in the description below in order to set up your Google Cloud uh, Console stuff so you can set up Google Docs. A resource is set to document. Operation is create. We're just going to pull it from my drive. If you have a different name for your drive, obviously change that. And I'm going to uh, create this in a folder called uh, transcribed notes. All right. And um, again, you don't have to put it into a folder called transcribed notes. You can have a new folder. Just be aware that you need to have a folder to put this into. We're going to name it as the title that we generated on the last one and then notes. All right. And it may not make sense every single time to have notes because you might end up with notes notes. So, you know, just be aware of that. You might want to add some additional instruction here to this AI agent in order to say, oh, don't include the word notes or something like that. Either way, um, we got, you know, <laughs> today's date, uh, NBN workflow generator notes notes. Well, it should be N eight N. So that's just my bad handwriting. Um, and then what it does is gonna paste the text from the notes into that document. And then we're gonna move that document to where you actually want it to be. Because when you when you use the uh, create uh, document with Google Docs, what it does is, I'll show you, um, it's going to create your, your file in one of your home folders here. It doesn't nest it inside of deeper and deeper folders. Well, I have all of, oh, I guess here in my drive, it's gonna nest it in one of these. And so because I store all of my stuff in a folder called AI Projects, I'd love this document to be put into one of these folders, but it doesn't do that on the initial create. That's why we have this additional um, move, uh, Google Drive one here, uh, resources uh, move, or operation is move. That way we can move it into the correct folder. And so we just grab it by the ID. Uh, the file that we're moving is the one that's created here in this Google Docs node. So we're grabbing that ID number. And then we're just gonna move it to the right folder. Um, and so if I go and look for images for notes classification, open up that, here we go. We've got our, my NBN workflow generation notes. All right, and then we have you know NBN workflow generator. It should say N8N workflow generator. We've got Roger beta, that's right. And then I have redacted, literally redacted. Tasks should be, uh, so it should be one on one. Uh, not part of community calls, so not part of commodity calls, and it does not like my handwriting. Add text and audio at the same time, I got that. Foldering system for tasks, all right, and make data to sort filter completed tasks. Database setup. So it, it got nearly everything right. Obviously, the, the worse your handwriting, the less likely it is to get it. The better your handwriting, the more likely it is to get it. So. Um, just be aware that it will get to the majority of your notes. You might have to go in there and fix it, but nice little workflow that'll allow you to be able to take your handwritten notes and actually do something with them. So you don't just have stacks and stacks of paper sitting on your desk. Just take a picture, upload it to Google Drive. It'll automatically process it. You can then take it and have other processes from there do something with those notes and actually act on the notes. So really nice workflow for you all today. And if you'd like an even more advanced version of this workflow, you gotta join my advanced community, all right? That's Automate Business AI Advanced because we have a version that's able to handle not just images, but it's able to handle PDFs and Excel documents. And it's all part of a larger agentic system that I have that I call Roger 3.0, our executive assistant agent, that's able to handle not just your notes that you tell it to via Slack, via your know, audio or text, but it's also to able to handle those images and the PDFs and everything. It's gonna be able to take all of that, put it all into the system, process that information, create action items for you that you can then schedule out, email about. It's a really cool system. I think you're absolutely gonna love it. It's all available in my advanced community. The link is in the description below. And if you want a copy of today's workflow, all you gotta do is go and click the link in the description below to go to my free school community. You can grab that absolutely for free. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe to the channel like and share the video. It really does help get this information out there to those who need it. As always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.